inside look at downtown Jacksonville from our tower cam. For the most part, you can see it. You can smell it. Smoke from the West Coast fire is thick across northeast Florida. Things could worsen as winds are expected to pick up. Good morning. We are also following jury deliberations in the Kareem Brown corruption case. We have a clock showing how long the jury has been discussing the charges. But first, due to smoke from the West Mims wildfire, all outdoor activities for Duval County schools are canceled. New restrictions are in place in Jacksonville as a result. We have a number of crews covering this developing story. Channel 4's Denise Harris just learned about those restrictions from Mayor Lenny Curry and Jack's Fire Rescue. Denise. Bruce yes, Bruce, yes, new this morning, Jacksonville is now on an expanded burn ban. There are three things you can no longer do. We're going to show you what those are right now. Fire pits, outdoor fires, bonfires, all of those eliminated going through the month of June. Now, there are restrictions. All of this happening, as you mentioned, because of the Westman's fire that continues to burn thousands of acres. You know, fire and Rescue says they have been putting out small accidental fires here, one to two acres. So it's very important that this ban is enforced and respected. Mayor Lenny Curry says if wild, if the wildfire makes its way to Florida, we are prepared and he says we have resources ready. Another concern, wind direction, smoke from the Westman's fire is coming here. We can smell it out here right now. The risk is moderate, says the mayor, and this means anyone with respiratory issues, older adults, active children outside should all restrict those activities. Now, if you see someone that is burning something that falls under the lines of this restriction, they ask that you call 630 city or 911 immediately. Live in downtown Jacksonville, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station. News for Jax is getting a first look at some of the burned land. We take you behind the fire line. Channel 4's Chris Parento was taken there by fire crews. Got to see some of that damage firsthand live right now in St. George. It's got to be unbelievable from the ground, Chris. A totally different perspective to all of this, Bruce, when you get behind the area where the road is closed, Highway 94, where it's closed, and you can see why they issued that evacuation order telling people that they need to get out of there for their own safety. Take a look at some of the video that I shot just a little while ago behind those fire lines where crews are still working, continuing to try to protect everything they can in case the wind shifts this fire back in another direction. On Monday, we told you about how the fire had jumped across Highway 94 on the south end. When it did, there was an area there where fire crews were using that as a staging area for themselves and their equipment. Because that fire jumped across the lines, crews had to evacuate themselves out of that area, move everything out. They had about 30 minutes to do it. Unfortunately, a Georgia Forestry office building and another shed type building were destroyed by those flames. Significant damage back there. You can see some of the spots where fire retardant has been dropped by the tankers as they've flown over over the last couple of days. And crews continue to cut contingency lines around this fire to make sure that the areas closest to homes are protected. Those contingency lines, 60 to 75 feet wide to try to stop this fire as best they can. But right now the wind has picked up late this morning and is going to pick up even more early this afternoon. According to crews out here, they say it could be another tough day with the way this wind is blowing to challenge them. One official told me earlier today, the fight is a very difficult fight out here and they're hoping the winds will settle down and that eventually, if there is no rain, the humidity will at least rise a little bit to try to cut down on some of those flames. Air, air uh, attacks on this fire are continuing today. The VLAT coming back again this afternoon with another 12,000 gallon drop to try to help those firefighters protect some of those unburned areas. Live in St. George, Chris Parento, Channel 4, the local station. Chris, thank you. Looking live downtown right now, you can't really see the thick smoke that you can in some other areas. But Rich, you could smell it. Chris was talking about the fact that firefighters would like to see the wind die down, the humidity rise, because with a lack of rain, those two things would help. Is Mother Nature going to give them a hand at all? We will see the wind not calming down. We will see the humidity values and at least the chance for showers starting to step up as we move into late Friday and early Saturday. But the forecast between now and then is a sustained wind uh, in increasing at that. As a matter of fact, as we see that southwesterly flow, the pinch between us and that weak cold front that's coming through. This